G'day everyone and welcome back to Andrew's Arts and Models for 2018. Yes, first video. I know I've been slack. I have actually been kind of busy. I've uh, reorganized my work area and uh, I have been sorting through all the clutter in my life and just getting rid of a lot of stuff. So now we can finally get back to the fun stuff and I apologize for the wait. Uh, those of you that have liked, shared and subscribed, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, please, yeah, don't forget we've got the 4,000 subscriber giveaway competition coming up, so please head over and have a look at that video. And I am now going to be on Steemit as well as Instagram. So on Steemit I'm going to be uh, updating photos of builds, uh, putting a bit more information on there. I was really looking for a good platform to uh, do that on. I wasn't really happy with Facebook or Instagram to do it. I think Steemit's probably the better way to go. So... Uh, yeah, just keep an update, uh, keep an eye on that, um, and uh, we watch for the upcoming updates. But we're going to continue for the first video this year on the E series German vehicles that we've been reviewing. Uh, now you would have seen the E5, E10, E25 videos. We're moving on to the next video, which is the E50. Uh, now this kit is once again from Trumpeter, and this tank has sort of been made famous by uh, World of Tanks once again. Uh, E50 was a projected vehicle. It was really, well, they call it a standard Panzer. It was meant to come in at 50 to 75 tons. It was really going to be the replacement for the Panther and Panther 2. Uh, that was the idea behind it anyway. Uh, and moving on to the next vehicle in the E75 series was uh, heavier again. But uh, so this was meant to be the the standard medium tank, I suppose. It's pretty much a heavy medium, but. A standard medium tank for the for the Wehrmacht, and uh, they were going to incorporate components in the E75 and this one, as well as the E25, just to make production uh, simpler, quicker, easier, as well as supply. So same concept, same idea, but let's have a quick look in this kit here and see what you get. So it's obviously a 135 scale. Now there's a few little things about this kit which we'll cover, but essentially uh, we have. Our plans, so look at the plans, pretty standard. There really isn't much uh, deviation from what you'd expect in a tank build there. Probably the only thing that I've noticed is just the, the different uh, suspension setup. Uh, that is a little bit different from what you see on the other vehicles. But stowage, everything like that, it's the same. Uh, yeah, there really isn't a huge amount of difference, just the shape of the vehicle itself. So, they never actually produced one of these. As far as I'm aware, they never actually even got a uh, prototype mock-up. They uh, did a small turret, or small trim, small turret, which was uh, for the Panther II, which is going to be the lead-on design for the turret for this tank. Um, and sadly, that ended up at uh, in the UK on the target range, so that uh, is no longer with us. But uh, yeah, so they never really got uh, off the drawing board with this uh, vehicle, but interesting nonetheless. Paint scheme is fairly simple. Um, it's only the one side, so there's nothing really there. One thing about this kit that I found unusual is it doesn't have any decals, so there's no markings uh, for the vehicle itself, uh, which I thought was kind of strange. I mean, they were never issued to units, so you're not going to have unit markings in the lab. You would have thought there might have been some generic... Uh, things included in the kit, but uh, apparently not. So uh, that's something to look out for. If you've got a few spare decal sheets laying around, then uh, yeah, something something uh, to uh, put them put them towards. Uh, moving on, we have our nice little bit of, of uh, metal here for the rope. Uh, that's going to be nice and and easy to detail and wrap around things and whatnot. And we've got the vision blocks here, which are actually clear plastic as well, uh, which is a, a bit different. Quite like that. Excuse me. All right. So we now have photo etch. I'll just zoom in on that for you. Sorry about that. So the photo etch here. Photo etch grills, feel little bits and pieces, nothing dramatic, uh, just to add some nice detail to the vehicle. Pretty simple. Uh, turret comes in its own little protector, which I thought was a nice touch because it actually is fairly, uh, I don't want to say weak or flimsy because it's its not, it's, it isn't weak or flimsy, but it could get damaged if something heavy was on the box. So I quite like the idea of putting in its own little cover just to make sure it 
it uh, arrives in one piece. Pretty simple, some nice weld line detail there. Uh, nothing over the top once again. Very nice. Nice little areas for those little uh, uh, handles on the side as well, which you can use for um, detailing up the vehicle later. And let's just have a look at the top part of the hull. Very simple engine deck, but still nicely moulded detail there. And all this kit, once again, all the uh, sink marks are, are well recessed, and there's very, very little, if any, flash on any of the parts. Uh, one thing I found interesting was just the um, the hinges there. So I found just thought it was a little bit different, just the hinges for the guards. And we'll have a look at the underside here. The underside's fairly well detailed as well. So you've got some nice detail there. A few little bits you need to tidy up, but nothing drastic. A little bit of sanding will fix that right up. And uh, yeah, I think overall it's done very, very well. Uh, moving on to the rest of the parts. Unlike some of the other kits, vinyl tracks. So vinyl tracks are the only option in this one. I'm sure you could probably find some aftermarket pieces laying around. Uh, for me, these will do. But uh, yeah, not, you know, with the other kits, they did have the op some of the options there where you could use the vinyl parts or you could um, uh, use the individual track links as well, which was quite nice. And we have here our gun assembly. So the gun itself is in two parts, and there's two options for armament on this vehicle. Uh, and I have to check the instructions. I'm pretty certain they're the same calibre. It's just one is a uh, uh, same calibre, same size round, so they should both be 88. Pretty certain that's just a longer barrel, so higher velocity. Uh, we can double check that. But yeah, very very nicely done. Interesting option, considering it's a uh, hypothetical vehicle or we'll never actually into production. And those are the tow cable links there, uh, cleaning rods. Back of the um, guards, rear of the tank, skirting, tools, whatnot, all very nicely detailed. Those are the engine grills, as you can see there, which will put the mesh over the top. Uh, so, very nicely done. There's no sink marks in any of these upper surfaces. Let's have a look at the back. There's a few on the underside here, but you're not really going to see them. Sorry, you're not really going to see them when the uh, vehicle's put together. So, and there's a couple on here which may be troublesome. May be troublesome, but once again, they should be fairly well hidden. But yeah, you can probably uh, give them a touch up if you liked. Uh, let's keep moving on. All right, turret ring. Interesting, and that's the uh, turret front. Commander Scapola. Quite good there, and those are the little hooks for the side of the turret. A few other bits and pieces, little hatches, tools, etc. Let's have a look at the road wheels. So the road wheels, these two sheets should be exactly the same, or these two sprues rather should be exactly the same. The road wheels are nicely done, there really isn't anything to tidy up there except from where you're going to cut them off. And that's the suspension units. And the drive sprockets. Looking good. Rear idler. Looking very nice. Liking the detail on this. This will be a fun kit to build. And the E50 is also one of my favourite tanks. <laughs> my tank's favourite medium tanks. I do love it. So uh, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to do an E50 build. I'm just going to have to do it. Yeah, beautiful. Excellent. So the next video is E75. That'll be coming your way very, very quickly. We're just going to keep pumping out the videos uh, from now. Keep going. So we're, we're back in business for the year, which is fantastic. Uh, once again, don't forget, uh, links below. I've got my Facebook page, uh, the new Steemit account, which I'm going to be updating uh, build photos onto as well. Uh, Instagram and Tokyo Model Detective. So those of you that are looking for some... Uh, Nice kits to buy, especially Bandai stuff. Uh, by all means, head over to Tokyo Model Detective, have a look at Darren's stuff. Uh, order off him quite a few times. You'll hear me say that a lot because I love it. Uh, he's, yeah, very good. 
never let us down. So, yeah, there we go. Trumpeters E50, uh, standard Panzer in 135. Interesting kit, and 1945 paint schemes, 46 what-ifs. You could do a whole heap of stuff. So you're not limited to uh, what's on here. You can pretty much make up whatever you want, which is awesome. Um, who's going to question you? <laughs> Love it. Love it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, send a carrier pigeon, whatever. And uh, we'll see you in the next vid.